What's up guys? Today we're here to learn the truth about uh, an ingredient that has really become a poison in this country known as red dye 40. I wouldn't normally put much stock in things like this except that two people in my little tiny circle have been affected by this, uh, this ingredient. So I think it's time to have a look and see what's going on with this product. Is red dye 40 toxic according to healthline.com? Red 40 is a certified color that comes from petroleum distillates and coal tars. Well, it didn't take that long to convince me. Petroleum distillates and coal tars, and they put that in our food. That right there, the fact that even they, they would even do that, scares me. But then again, according to the Center for Science and the Public Interest, Red 40 and other ASCs can cause allergic reactions in some people. Research shows they can also cause hyperactivity in children and immune system tumors in mice. Red 40 con contains p crizidine which the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says is reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, you can find red dye 40 in all kinds of things, from cereal to juice to candy, all kinds of things. But foods that aren't red or orange can still include red dye 40. You can find it and other ASCs in cheeses, peanut butter crackers, salad dressings, and marshmallows. If you're like me and been looking for some products that are red 40 free, then here's a few examples for you. Berry Berry Kicks, Cheerios, Grape Nuts, Post shredded wheat, Kellogg's cornflakes, Cashew Goline, Yoplait yogurts, some Kraft macaroni and cheese products, Mons Medleys, fruit flavored snacks, Ocean Spray fruit flavored snacks, and Special K Red Berry cereal. On its own, Allure Red, as it is also known, is not particularly toxic. You would have to eat many kilograms of food colored with Allure Red in a single day to receive a lethal dose. However, recent studies have also found links between hyperactivity in children and the consumption of artificial food dyes and preservatives. Allure Red is banned in many European countries including Denmark, Belgium, France, and Switzerland. It is approved by the European Union and has been assigned an E number. However, the local laws in EU countries take precedence. It is also approved in the United States and Canada. In the U.S., the Center for Science and the Public Interest has been calling for, an FDA, for, calling for the FDA to ban Allure Red which I personally think is a good idea. So long story short, red dye 40 is quickly becoming a giant problem in this country. It's linked to symptoms of ADHD and some people are also allergic to it. The natural alternative, no pun intended, is to go natural. Unfortunately, the problem with that is eating natural can sometimes cause twice or cost twice as much as eating just regular foods. And some people will say, and rightly so, it's your health and that should be more important, but we also all know that food shopping adds up and we have to pay our rent. But when it comes to your children, definitely avoid the red dye 40. It's much safer that way. This is the second time I shot this video. The first time, I there was a, a site on the top 11 foods banned in the U.S. I'm sorry, banned outside the U.S. The first five were all food dyes. Blue, ye blue, yellow, and red. So I guess all I have to say to that is be careful, everybody. Just protect yourselves and protect your children. That's all I have for today, and as always, it's Bobby's world, and you're all just living in it. TLC for life, y'all. Bye.